Welcome to another video by DJSP Receipt. Today I want to talk to you about the new Traxxas Easy Peak Live Dual ID charger. It's a charger that goes up to 26 plus amps, 200 watts from Traxxas. They say fast charging three times faster. It has the Traxxas ID connector, the dual port. And you can get an app for it. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Opening the box, the first thing you see is the instruction manual. Now, even if you're watching this video, I strongly suggest that you read this manual here. Some stuffing. And you have the actual charger itself. First thing we see, it's pretty much like pretty any Traxxas charger they have. This one just a little, lot bigger compared to the dual port they have. You have the charger with the buttons in front. The Easy Peak Live ID Bluetooth on the side, the fans, both sides. Front, you'll have your two main ports. These are when you're charging a non Traxxas battery and even have a USB port. If you remove this guy right here, you got a USB to be able to charge certain USB stuff, your phone, things like that. Let's untie this and plug it in. I pretty much any Traxxas chargers, you'll see these two lights surging, telling you that the charger is ready to to charge. Let's say you have like this uh, 4000 ID 3 cell Traxxas battery. If I plug it in the port, <clears throat> automatically the charger sees it. It's a battery type, it says a LiPo, bouncing mode, and it's surging, telling us it's ready to go. I need to hit start and it will start charging. Now it does have the max charge. If I press the smash charge, basically it will go the highest charge capacity that this 4000 can do. Now there is another way to be able to control this guy here is basically with your phone. If you go to the app store from Apple and download the Easy Peak Live or the Google Play Store, you'll be able to download the app. What Traxxas did to make your life easy in this book here. <clears throat> I give you a paper with the Easy Peak Live Duel with a QR code. Basically scan your QR code with your phone and I'll bring you directly the link to download it. What I'm going to do here, if you guys need to pause this, take a picture or use your phone, you should be able to download it. I will insert a picture at the end of the video. Now I have it on my phone already. The Easy Peak Live right here. I don't know if you can really see it. We'll start it. Let's see here if she's going to focus. She may not. Now, basically what's telling you is in the corner, press and hold to connect. You go on the side of the charger. I'm just going to unplug this battery here. You go on the side, press link. The blue light will start flashing. On the app itself, you're going to press here. Automatically sees the charger, easy peak. And I'm going to try to do something, put it here. Sorry if it shakes guys. I'm just going to try to zoom in. It wants the zoom for zoom, but focus. <clears throat> it really wants to. <laughs> in the corner here, it says no battery connected. Charge setup. Let me see if I can get. I 
I'm going to try something here. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to bring the contrast down on my phone. Yeah, a little bit better. It says no battery connected, charge setup. And if you look at these surging bad lights and surging in the middle too, no battery connected and no battery info. Now, if I connect this battery to the charger, takes a couple of seconds here. The charger sees it. And this guy still says there's nobody connected. There we go. Oh, because this is the max charge port, that's why. Now, you see start ID, cell voltage, enter for settings. Here it tells you the battery info, it tells you what kind of battery you have. Uh, it says connect to a light bulb, charge and current, it's uh, 8 amps. Uh, balance charge capacity 4,000, cell, the amount of cells there's three. Now if we hit cell count, <coughs> sorry, tells you cell one, cell two, cell three, and what's happening with the cells. They're all perfectly balanced, 3.8 of each cell. Now if we press enter here, it's the max current, it let you charge it. Now because this battery, you can charge at two, 2C rate, you can basically double your 4,000 at 8 amps. Because again, this battery is a 4,000. That's why it says maximum of 8 amps. Now if we hit next. And the next screen, balancing, tells you the kind of balance. Number of cells, the capacity of the battery, and charge rate. You have fast, fast charge again, same thing. And then you have storage mode. Storage mode tells you it's a 4,000 maximum current things like that you press okay basically we just told the charger the settings we wanted now to be able to start this chargers start this charger this charger says press start hit id now if you press on it, it tells you arrows to here you can't press here even if you're trying to pressing here it doesn't matter it's on the charger itself you need to press if I bring this a little bit higher here, you'll see it. It's right here. I will start it. One thing you'll notice, the fans are, are loud on this thing. Basically, it starts charging. Tells you here it's a three cell. And the, uh, the charge status here. And in the corner here, tells you the amount that's charged in the battery, there's 74%, 69, six minutes, roughly about remaining to charge. But charge, but charging time. Now, let's say for some reason you need to leave, you need to stop the chargers. There's two ways. You can go directly here on the charger and press stop or stop charging right here. It will stop your charger. But now let's say you have a non-Traxxas battery and you want to charge it. This charger will let you do it. I'm just going to move my phone away. <coughs> Put this battery aside. Like I said, this charger makes a lot of noise. I have my Gen Ace here. 5,002 cells. Now I do have an adapter on it because I don't have a Traxxas connector on it. It is a two cell. Now what I'm going to do here is remove the door that does not want to. Remove this door. Plug this guy in the two cell. And plug it in the charger. Now if you notice one of the lights is not surging as like this one here. It's different. It sees a voltage in it. Now it's trying to guess, is it a two cell, is it a three cell, or is it a four cell? It's not sure. And the ID is not lighted up. 
On this one, you cannot press the two here to put it in manual mode to be able to charge this guy. The only way to do it is with the application. Come on. Now you go back in your charger. Okay. You can't really see that, eh? There we go. Now it's basically telling you charger setup required. What it's telling you, it's telling you, yes, there is something plugged in the port. There is something plugged in the 2 s In the picture here, you can see it. But the charger is set up not to charge it. Now, if we press here, charger setup, okay, and we go, it says only ID only mode, and we press off. <clears throat> okay. I really, really suggest to reading what Traxxas is asking you to read right now. With the ID only mode disabled, is basically they're not responsible if something goes wrong. Same thing as this video is instruction only. I'm not responsible if you do something wrong too. Please read correctly. Now, if you scroll to complete the end, the I accept will light up. You press accept. Passcode is off. Go back here. <coughs> now, the charger is basically, they say, check the cells. It's telling you the cells, uh, cell 1 is 3.7, cell 2 is 3.8. Enter the setting. It's letting you decide what kind of milliamp you're charging. Now, this guy's at 5,000. I could charge it at 5 amps. Personally, me, I charge everything at 2 amps. That's just me. Yep. Close enough. Hit next. What charge rate should I charge? 3.8, that's fine. You can save the profile if you're ever gonna go re, re, uh, redo this battery once, recharge it once. We'll hit press, <coughs> done. Now it's telling you start and gives you an information of the batteries here. And now if you notice, it's, char it's lighting up. It's not lighting blue because it's not an ID. ID will charge up blue only, light up blue, should I say? But it's telling us it's a LiPo. It's in balancing mode. Even if we press start here, it won't let you start again. It's the same thing as if you're doing an ID. We press here, and it will start charging. It's slowly trying to read the, key, the uh, internals on it, 0%. It says roughly about 36 minutes or 35 minutes to charge this pack completely at the charge rate I chose. Here it's telling you the voltage of the complete pack, the charging rate, telling you everything you basically need. And you can even switch to the other side here. That's nothing set up right now. Switch back to mode where, let's say, charger side one. Again, once it's charged, it will let you know. And if you want to stop it, you can stop it here or even stop it here if you wanted to. You just press and hold, and it stops charging it. Now, to be able to charge a non traxxas battery on the Easy Peak Live dual charger, 28 at 26 amp plus, only with the application, unfortunately. You cannot do it manually. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. And hit that bell notification to know when I upload a video. Thanks, you guys.